Well, it's hard to, uh, to really let somebody understand that this is not ordinary. Human design's not an ordinary thing. I mean, it, it's, you know, not to denigrate any other system that exists. Um, you know, it's not about just simply getting some information. Um, you can really tell how different human design is because it, it, it forces you to change your life. And it forces you to change your life in, in a very fundamental way. Um, it, it started with my various early, the earliest readings that I did as a professional. Um, the, the one thing that was obvious to me right from the beginning was the vulnerability of the human aura. It's an extraordinary thing when you look at the way in which we are designed to see that no matter how colorful your chart may be, the fact is that the vast majority of activations in the chart are, are white, are unactivated, are receptors. Everything about being correct in this life is about understanding how you navigate in a world of deep conditioning. But there are certainly times in, in the life, a regular cycle in the life, where, where one is defenseless, and, and that has to do with sleep. You know, it is a fascinating thing about the evolution of humanity, that the evolution of humanity has, it can be seen in a very specific way in terms of individual space. The fact is that from the earliest civilizations that we have, that human beings were crowded together, that families, literally uh, huge families, families of eight, nine, ten, twelve people would grow up in one single environment, that um, you know, most human beings being raised in this life um, had a common space in sleeping with uh, their siblings, their relatives. We still have that throughout the world. One of the most fascinating things about the development of the distribution of wealth on this planet is that it's provided us with the potentials of individual space. An individual space is really an extraordinary thing and relatively new on this planet. Just think about it, how few human beings can really afford to have their own unique space. It is really quite a thing to gather. And obviously, the moment that you're sharing your space with others, you're, you're involved in a deep auric connection with them, an auric connection that ultimately changes your nature. That is, uh, you know, you grow up in a conditioned field, and the conditioned field is going to influence you, that is, speaking of somebody who is not self. When you come to human design, when you go to a professional analyst in human design, one of the first things that they're going to tell you after they take you through your reading is how important it is for you to have your own space for sleeping. For sleeping. This is one of the most important things that you can do in beginning your deconditioning process. It is not about love. It is not about sex. It is not about any of those things. It's about recognizing that for approximately one-third of your day, you're unconscious and you cannot defend yourself, be aware of the impact of the environment around you. Think about what that's like. You're somebody who has like 49% of the population, you have an undefined emotional system. Your emotional system is open and therefore it's vulnerable and it will amplify in the presence of a defined emotional system. And your partner, your sleeping partner, happens to be emotional. Think about that. If they have a dream in which, you know, they are suddenly cranked up in that dream and their emotional energy is released in that dream, it goes directly into your sleeping body. You amplify it in your emotional system and it impacts you when you are unconscious. The other thing is about the nature of relationships. Relationships are not bound together by sleeping together. They're bound together by meeting each other. It's the most fascinating thing about sleeping in your own aura is that when you come out of your space and you enter into the connection to the other, you're very aware of what you're connecting to. It is a very different basis for a relationship. And you connect as yourself. You know, human design isn't just about finding out interesting things. It is about the transformation of the life. And the life is not transformed until conditioning, conditioning is controlled. And it's controlled through awareness. Part of that awareness is understanding that if you're going to enter into this experiment of your strategy and authority, that part of that experiment is sleeping in your own space.
Protect your aura. Allow yourself time to cleanse your aura of conditioning. Wake up in the morning as yourself. And then step out into your world and meet those forces in your life that you're ready for as yourself.